just gonna do a quick little recording too. Um, so it's good to see you guys. Hey, Aiden, how are you? Muted. Good. Okay, great. <laughs> I couldn't hear you, Aiden, when you talked, but I know you unmuted yourself, so maybe maybe your volume's down or something. I don't know. Um, but either way, good to see you guys. Um, I am going to show you uh, today kind of how to like put together some of the programs that we've already learned about and little projects that we've already done so far in Maker in Make It Mondays. Um, we're going to we're going to teach you how to put together using Piskel for 8-bit animations as well as um, Scratch. So we learned how to animate um, people or sprites in Scratch already, how to do like cool things and have them move around and have them change color, um, which all of those things are super cool. Um, but we also have, I know you guys really enjoy using Piskel for 8-bit um, animation because it's really fun. So um, it was actually Cordelia's idea that she shared that you can um, take your animations from Piskel that you're working on and import them into Scratch. So not only can you create those, those Piskels and have them exist in Scratch, but then you can also have them do other cool things that Scratch lets you do. Um, so, you okay, Joanna? What happened? My camera is like turning off and on and off. Oh, I'm sorry. I can see you now, though. We're good. Um, and I see Aiden's cat. Sweet Sophia. Sophia, Sophie. Sophie, Sophia is one of them. I should know by now. Okay. I think it's Sophia. Sophia, yeah. All right, so um, I'm going to share my screen. And so I did some preparation ahead of time. I am not a good artist or anything like that, and I didn't do a lot. But um, you guys all remember how to use Piskel, right? Yeah? You did not use Piskel. Oh, cool. OK, Joanna, you're muted, but I'm reading your lips. Is that what you said? OK, cool. So Piskel is super, super awesome. Piskel is a free app. Um, you can just go to piskelapp.com. And um, I'm not going to go to it right now. But basically, you, you don't even have to create an account or sign in or anything. Um, you can just say, I want to create an animation. And then basically, Piskel allows you to draw images um, and make individual frames that actually create 8-bit animation. So 8-bit is a style that's like kind of old school with these like really pixelated graphics. Um, so if you see over in the right hand corner, so actually let's start on the left. So Piskel works by drawing frames. So you can click add a new frame and it starts completely blank. And you can draw basically whatever you want. So we have the pen tool um, you can make it bigger or smaller. And let's say I want to draw a heart. So I'm going to do my little red heart. Wait, what do you have to search again? Um, oh, which website is it, you mean? Yeah. Could you, like, put it in the chat, maybe? Yeah, I can put it in the chat. Actually, Kat, can you put it in the chat? So it's piscalapp.com. Okay? So now I have this little heart. I can fill it in if I want to. I can give it like a little bit of a little shine here. No, a little shadow. I don't know. Um, so that um, is now a new frame that I've added. So now if I want to create an animation, so this is the one that I did earlier. I basically just use the black, you know, um, I use the circle tool and I drew, you know, a circle for my guy, which I'm going to undo that. How do I undo? Undo. Uh, can I undo it? <laughs> Where is it? Cordelia, anyone? Why can't I undo? There's an eraser, but I don't think there's an undo button. Oh, no. Okay, I shouldn't have done that, but that's okay. So you can just use the eraser to fix it if you need to. Um, if you do something that you don't want. 
So basically I started here and I created a circle and I used the circle tool to create little eyes and I used like to make a mouth. And then what I did is I used the duplicate this frame tool, um, which is in the lower right hand corner and that copied it. So now from here to here, um, I, oh, I just duplicated it again. Now I can draw a different, you know, um, like draw his mouth differently. So it looks like he's talking. So again, I made like his big mouth here. Oh my God, that's a gigantic mouth. I have a gigantic mouth too. It's fine. Um, and then you can fill it in like that. And again, you can use the eraser tool so it looks perfect. Um, and so now I have this little guy. And so now it looks like he is talking basically. Um, he's, he starts with his mouth closed, then his mouth opens, then it closes again. And then I had him wink. Okay. So you guys see how I did that? Like by just using the, either you can delete a frame. Um, you can also move and drag a frame if you want to change the order. And it's very similar to like stop motion animation. Each frame is different, slightly different than the one before it. And then it becomes a loop. It plays over and over again. And you can see that in the um, right hand corner over here. So now you can see, and it says seven frames per second. I can make this slower so you can, you know, see it go slower. Um, and then I can do some other things over here, like adding, you know, I could add a background, for example, um, if I wanted to have like a cool color in the background. Um, that's not a very cool color, but you know what I mean. Um, or what I would recommend, especially because we're going to use these in Scratch, is you don't want to use a background. Um, so I'm actually going to get rid of that. Um, you don't want to use a background because you want your scratch animations to exist on their own and be able to like have any background behind them when we go to scratch. So, okay. So now I have this guy, he's, you know, sticking his tongue out. Um, I'm going to duplicate again and go back and fix my little, um, use my pen tool. And again, there's like all these other cool tools that honestly, like I haven't even used. Um, Um, but I definitely recommend just messing around with Piscal because it's a lot of fun. Um, and you can do things that some, I've seen some that have like, you know, hundreds of frames, but basically however many frames you want, um, you create them. Um, and like for this, I'm going to create this being a broken heart. So I'm going to use my pen tool and I'm gonna um, change my color so that I'm gonna use a transparent tool. And that means that I'm not only editing the, the heart. Oh no, I didn't do a great job with that, but that's okay. Cause I can fix it by going back to my red and making my uh, thing smaller and Heather, mm -hmm. it's saying that I can't do it because like my browser isn't supported or something. Um, you might need a more like an update to your browser. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, you might need to use like a, a, a newer computer or tablet potentially. Okay, it's really hard to like draw a broken heart, apparently, <laughs> in fiscal, and I'm getting getting way too involved in this at this moment, so I'm going to move on in a sec, but um, hold on. Anyway, that's not really a broken heart, but you get the idea. So now I have all five of my images that I want to use. And what I'm going to do is over on the right hand side, um, I can go to export. Okay. And I'm going to export it. So the first thing I want everyone to do is when you're going to Pisco, make sure you make the scale larger. 
Usually we do it and it's too small. So in scratch, for example, you might want to do something like three, like 400 by 400. And then you can call it, you know, Sprite, whatever. Um, and now we're going to download it. So you have the option of downloading it as a GIF, a PNG, or a zip drive. And I found that using it, downloading it as a zip drive works the best. So you down, you click zip and then click um, split by layers and then click download zip. And so then you'll have this new folder of your animations of your frames that we can now add to Scratch. Does anybody have questions about Piscal before we move on into Scratch? Okay. Cool. Um, so now we go into Scratch and you can see that I already did this with my animations from earlier, but I'm going to show you how I did it. Um, so basically in Scratch, uh, you guys were all here for the Scratch workshop, right? Yeah, cool. So you remember that I showed you about like how to add a sprite, for example. Um, so generally what I did is you can go to, when you hover over, so I'll get rid of this one for now. When you hover over choose a sprite, you wanna click upload sprite. And then you have to find where your folder downloaded to. But again, you should have this new Piscal zip drive. And so you can select one at a time, select, or just actually all you need to do, I don't know if you guys can see this on my screen share. Can you guys see my like pop up, my finder? I don't think you can. You can, okay, cool. So you can just select the first one, whichever the first one is. So just select it. And oh wait, yeah, this guy's really small. So we're gonna make him big by changing the size to 500. Um, okay, so now we have this guy, he's a Sprite. We can move him around just like any other Sprite. Um, and now what we have to do is we have to add his different costumes. So costumes are basically more frames that you can use, um, that you've already designed, um, that we're going to import from Piscal. So over here, now we're going to go to choose a costume and click upload costume. And then we can choose sprite number two. And for sprite number two, we're gonna keep it, the size is the same, 500, perfect. And now we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna upload costume for sprite number three. And then we're gonna choose the last costume for sprite number four. So now every single frame that I made already in Piscal, I've now just uploaded as costumes. But over here, now we have to make him change costumes in order to see that animation start. So remember that we start with an event block. When the flag is clicked, um, and then, oh, and let's, let's add a cool backdrop here too. Come on, we gotta choose a cool backdrop. Let's do like, oh, that one's really bad because you can't see it. Well, uh, hold on, maybe. Here we go. Nope. <laughs> mm -mm. Will the stripes work? Blue sky will work. Um, and we can move him up here if we want him to stay here. So, okay. So now we have our little guy and we're gonna say when the thing is clicked, we want him to change his costume. First, we'll have him say hello for a second. And then we want him to switch his costume to Sprite 2, because that's the second one we want. And then we're gonna choose next costume. Oh, what's up? And then we gotta wait in the middle. What were you gonna say? And we have to do the... 
Um, if you want him to have his mouth open at the beginning, um, put on, put the switch costume to the switch costume. No, switch that to above the say hello block. Oh, nice. Good point. Switch to Sprite 2, say hello, then next costume. And we're going to do it forever. We're going to have him switch between his costumes forever, but we're also going to add a wait button. And basically, this is just another way of telling this animation to repeat itself over and over again. So we're going to say we want it to switch its costume, say hello, and then forever, it's going to loop through the four different costumes, AKA the four different layers that we've created. And they're going to wait 0.5 seconds in between. And it's just basically going to go forever. So now let's um, press the flag and see if it works. It does. Hooray. And so for this, I can make this go faster if I want. I can say like, wait 0.25 seconds. And then it's a quicker thing. And the other thing is now I have all these other cool things that I can do. So not only can I have it change all of his, you know, um, like changes his expression, but I could say, you know, I want to have it, um, you know, I, I can do basically all the other things that I showed you guys that you can do in um, Scratch. So you can say like, then he broadcasts message one, and then I don't know, like you, you can do all the other things that we thought of. I don't know if anyone has an idea of like a cool thing we could have it do. Um, we could have it change color. Oh, it doesn't like to change color, I guess. Huh. I guess when you make your own cre creations, it doesn't want to change the color for you, but that's okay. We'll get rid of that can have him change his size. So, gets bigger and 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 takes over the world. Um, the whole point is that this is just another way for you to take your 8-bit animations that you've made and put them into the scratch world where then you can do things like add backdrops and add you know, things that they say, like if they, if you want them to say something or adding music or adding sound effects or adding vocals to what they're saying. Um, so it's just another way of doing that. Um, just using, instead of hand drawing your costumes yourself using the scratch tool, you can pre-make them in um, Pascal and then upload them. I know it kind of sounds complicated, but I promise it's really not as hard as it sounds. Um, it's pretty fun. Um, and again, you guys are a lot more like artistic and creative than me. So I'm sure you can come up with some really cool stuff. Like this is just a silly little emoji, emoji guy. Um, but does anybody have um, any questions or any ideas that they have about something they might like to do or any tips um, about how to make it better? Uh, I don't, I think maybe like I could do a flower wilting and then springing up back again, like in the spring or something. That would be so cool. Yeah. So you can do that animation. Hey, Aiden, um, I'll call on you next. So yeah, you can make that animation in Piskel and then upload that and create the, and use the cool backgrounds and add some cool music and scratch. I think that's a great idea. Um, go ahead, Aiden. Okay. What's the question? Add cats. <laughs> what, bad cats? Add cats. Add cats. Okay, add cats. Right. Great. Um, I am going to leave it to you, Aiden, to make a cat animation, please. I need it in my life. I need um, Cats the Abusical, uh, but it, entirely 8-bit style. Um, and uh, you have a week to complete it. <laughs> I would love to see what you could do with animating cats. Wait, um, yeah. Cordelia? Yes. Um, can I put in the chat one I just finished? Yeah. It's a good one. I just like, I just made it to practice again because I haven't put, done this in a while. So. 
Cool. Did it, did you do what I showed? Like you did something in Pistol and then you uploaded it. I did something in Pistol. Oh, cool. Yeah. Let's look at it. Thank you for sharing. That's a great point. Um, yeah, Joanna, you had a, a question or a point you wanted to make? Uh, so Cordelia, Cordelia, do you have a tortilla blanket? Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> um, and also, and it's actually circular. Wow. So just, just another thing I just want to show you guys. So before I forget, um, the other thing is that you do have the ability to edit your sprites in, in Scratch. So it's not like you need to use Pisco. Like you could say, okay, now I'm going to draw just using this tool and give him purple hair or something. I don't know. Um, he looks pretty cool now. Um, so you can edit it yourself. You don't have to do everything in Pisco. The thing that people generally like about Piskel is the fact that it looks like a cool old school animation, um, but you can totally make that in Scratch as well. So, um, and it has, Piskel has a few more different tools that you can use. And Piskel, you can also just download your project as a GIF and you don't have to use, um, you don't actually have to put it into Scratch at all. So I just wanted to mention that as well. Um, and let's see. So. I want to look at Cordelia's project. She just gave us an example. Um, I was looking at Bobby's ranch there because <laughs> I was trying to remember. It is the one that I know of, Joanna. Um, I just saw I'm going to be in a play in two days. How are you going to be in a play in two days, Joanna? Tell us about it. Um, so it's actually online, but that's so I'm, cool. I'm doing this play. It's called Why Would a Tree Sit Down? Uh huh. And uh, I'm a cat. <laughs> Wait, you're a cat? Aiden, yeah. did you hear that? <laughs> That's very cool. I want to see a full musical replica of cats, like, entirely. The entire musical, we're going to recreate it at SCAT TV next year. Let's do it. <laughs> I've watched... I've watched cats, but like actually live on a stage. Oh, when it's actually decent, yeah. <laughs> we all went through a, a harrowing experience watching cats together. Anyway, um, okay, so let's look at this. So this is so cool. Everybody can see this, right? Um, this is Cordelia's yeah. animation, and you can tell. So she created it in Piskel, um, and she imported it. So let's look at it. He's wearing a skirt. Love it. Yay! Whoa! It changes color. So does it change color because you colored it in every single different color? No, no, it was a it's it was a code. Oh, you used the code. That was what I was trying to change figure out. Change color effect by one. You can actually check it. Oh, now, cool! I may like fade because change color effect by one forever. Got it. Cool. Okay, so that's perfect. I just had to wait two seconds because there's two when flying yeah. and one has the he he for two seconds. That is perfect. Okay, so I this is awesome. So you can change the color. You just do change color effect by one. Interesting. Or you could also do like change color effect by any number. Okay. Cool. Yeah, that's super smart, and that's that's so creative and also very cute. I love that. Great job, Cordelia. You're the best. You can make another that's better. Yeah, so I would love to challenge each one of you guys, if you can, to really um, work on your animation. So do some practice with Piskel. Again, it's free. You don't need an account. You don't need to pay any money. Just go online. Hopefully, just get your browser updated so you can do it. But um, you know, or you can also access it on, on a tablet as well. Um, and yeah, see if you can create something, post it in the quarantine creations. I would love to see it. I think it, you can be super creative with this. Um, if you have any questions, you know, I'm on the discord, you can check in with me. Um, You're also on I, my discord. What is it? Oh, You're yes. And, and Cordelia's discord and Joanna's discord. Everyone's got a discord. So if you want to drop your links to your Discord channels, you can as well. I'm going to um, do that. I'm going to actually do that right now once I get Discord. Cool. Let me get um, my links. <laughs> okay. I have like 13 million. But <laughs> yeah, I noticed. Whoa. Um, 
So I was also going to say, um, if, um, so this week we have disaster piece on Thursday. So if you haven't, please go to the discord. I think Sherlock gnomes is going to win. Um, if you don't want to watch Sherlock gnomes vote against it, uh, we need, uh, your votes in the, in the discord channel. Um, but we are going to do disaster piece. Um, we're going to do disaster piece the third Thursday of, of the month during the summer. So we will do them, but we're just doing them once a month now. Um, and we will have our check-in and group games this week. You guys are going to get to start to meet some of our other um, interns this summer. We have two new interns named Jade and Carolina, and they're super cool. Um, and so they're going to start running um, as long as well as Kat are going to be running um, workshops, the check-ins and group games on Friday. So we'll be rotating through so you can meet some of them. Um, and we're going to keep doing that all summer. Just so you know, we are going to be starting summer programming, um, some online programs, and then hopefully some in-person stuff later in the summer. Um, and your parents uh, this will know is about that real soon. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so we'll still be doing our, our makeup Mondays during the summer. We'll still be doing our check-ins and group games on Friday. So that way we stay connected, even if you guys aren't coming to our summer camps. So, um, yeah. Anyone got questions, concerns, things they want to share? Oh, Cordelia, actually, I think I can do it for you. Here, um, it's friends, for, oh no, it's the all of it server, right? Uh, both if you want. Okay. I know how to do it also, but I have no you. clue. For the future, can I tell you for the future how to do it if you ever want to link one of your things? So go to the yeah, Discord. I'll show it to you guys if you want. Here. Um, this is what I did, Cordelia. So if you go to your Discord um, at the at the top here, you should be able to see there's like a little drop down and then you yeah. can do, um, invite people. Yeah, and I went to invite people and then I pressed copy. Oh. Then that one should work. Wait, just wait. Try the link out. You have a lot of friends. <laughs> oh yeah, those are my those are my other friends on. So my friends like and I use Discord too. Um, yeah, so I think that's the one. R H N A U Q. Wait, what? What do I have next to me on Joanna? What is that? Don't know. Um, all right, you guys. So I think I'm going to sign off for today, but I hope to see you for a disaster piece and on Friday for games and in general in the world. Um, also, we're going to be doing like a fun little premiere party for some uh, stuff that we made during Makerspace. So more info to come, but it will happen um, at some point. <laughs> Hopefully, like really, I want to do it next week, but we'll see. Um, okay. Bye, you guys. See you soon. Bye.